all see that, right? <laughs> and they had a nerve to have Al Sharpton in the middle. That's crazy. Holy hands singing slavery, sound like slave hymns. Man, them folk want us to hope that something gonna come save us. Or hope that something gonna come get us out of the situation we in. They not hoping, they putting action behind the things they doing and you see it. See the thing about hope, hope is infinite. You can't never reach it, it's just like belief. The more they put things in front of you to believe, the stronger the belief, the more the reaction they get up out of you. You see how that, that works? I don't wanna go off belief, I wanna go off truth. Why should I believe something that's true? I don't know, it just don't make sense. And at the same time, it's like itself. We gotta understand that hoping ain't gonna hit, ain't gonna get us nowhere. Hoping ain't gonna do a damn. Hold on, excuse me. I, let me give a shout out to Edwin Mitchell for the contribution. And, he, and one of the things he said was, I, "I be cussing, so I'm trying to pipe it down. I'm gonna pipe it down, keep it clean." But thank you or anybody else who did any type of contribution to the channel that helped us out in any type of way. I just had to say that because I was I was about to go. But let me get back to it. The thing about it is we got to realize, man, these, these folks want us to hope. And look who they stick in, in the middle, Al Sharp. Man, come on, bro. All the real all the real soldiers either dead, gone, or in prison. The ones that's still around, they're the good boys for them. Them the boys, them the ones they, they send out in the field when a, when a, when a, when a situation happens. Like they say, never let a good crisis go to waste. So we're going to send that boy out there in the field. And it seems like I, he he one of he's supposed to be one of us because he's black. But they be sending those type of messages psychologically because if they saw a white boy out there, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna resonate. So they're gonna send somebody like him. And you know the other little so-called wannabe black leaders that we did not oppose or or, or pick for us. They're gonna send them out there and make them seem like they, they with us and we all together. Hell no, nah, man. We ain't doing none of that no more. And this ain't to discredit nobody, this just on truth. Them older folks got it the worst. Why? Because they've been brainwashed twice as long. They've been living twice as long as us. Long as us. And there's no disrespect. I just understand. What's in you, if it ain't in you, it ain't coming out you. And the thing about it is, when I see that, them holding hands, singing all that, man, I ain't, we, ain't, we ain't know none of that. What we got to do is organize like we doing. Because a lot of us starting to organize. We starting to see what's going on. We starting to put two, two, two and two together. You see what I'm saying? It's just... We need to understand that the people that's running this show, they're going to keep putting all their kumbaya stuff in front of us on TV, um, just everything that they can they can do to target us, to make us believe as black folks that we don't have a chance, that we don't get it along, that we fight each other, kill each other. These are the things we're up against. And they understand, man, the more that inputs into here, the more that going to output out of here. And that's why they keep targeting us on all levels, showing stuff like this. Like, that don't even look right. You don't see them holding hands, singing kumbaya. No, they in laboratories studying our biology, studying our brains, understanding psychologically how to control people, how to manipulate people. They got a plan and agenda. They got jails for us. They control our education. They control everything around us. How can we defeat these same, these same people that's giving us Everything we know, it's not gonna happen. So my thing is this, we need to wake up, and I'm talking about quick. I'm talking about quick. And this ain't no, like like I be saying, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't get on here bashing my own folk, but I just understand all that. Sometimes our own folk be our own problem. Cause they can be in a situation where they, they don't understand, like, or they do understand. They are part of the problem. Like I be telling y'all, Nothing gets huge in America without being a part of their agenda. You think if you came along as a president and you're ready to liberate people, you're ready to make a change, you think they're gonna elect you president? Man, come on, bro. All these people are in cahoots with each other. All of them. And the thing about it is, we have to understand this, man. We could take this, I started to cuss right then, but I ain't. We could take the whole thing back over, man. We can. We can take it back over. But we just have to organize and understand and get the right education. Not that school education. I'm talking about the real education or really what's going on. So now that we done been educating each other, we know what's going on. We know who the enemy is. We know how they attack us, how they attack our children. How we know all this stuff. Now, 
it's time we start going into action because we have to first organize. You have to do that. That's what they're afraid of. They don't care how much money you got. They don't care how famous you is. What they care about is how many people you can align with on one accord and organize. Oh, that's their fear. That's why they have to keep us separated. And why when we buy a house, we buying a house just for us and our little family. No, we should be living like a tribe. Imagine if we live like a tribe. Not, don't base it off what you know today. Because they done already brain screwed you. You know what I'm saying? They done already brainwashed you. But think outside the box. If we live, that's a tribe. All the women and children, men. You get what I'm saying? They don't want that. Because they know it's power in that. If we all came together like ants. That's why I said we can learn a lot from animals. You can learn so much from animals. You think animals come to, why you think they move in, in, in herds together positively? Because everything can be negative or positive, you see what I'm saying? But you can learn a lot from animals moving together. But in this society, they tweak the herd and got the herd running this way. No, we're talking about when the herd running in a positive way, everybody following suit in a positive note, not the negative note. Like I say, you just got to come together and understand, man, it ain't going to change if we don't change it. So when I see that little Kumbaya video there, man, that just lets me know, man, you know, that ain't what it is. It ain't going to never be what it is. All that hoping, wishing, and all that, even praying, bro, you don't pray for God to, you're supposed to already see it. It's already done. You need to, pay. you got to pray for courage, strength to go do it. It's already done. Because if you sit back and pray for something to come to you and I go out there and get it, chances are I'm going to get it before you do it. You may not never get it. Because don't none just come from nothing, bro. And we need to understand it. So with that being said, man, double salute to everybody out there, man. Hopefully y'all having a good day, good weekend. And understand, man, hoping they ain't going to get us nothing. Never did, never will. You get what I'm saying? That's just what it is, man. But hey, man, like I say, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. I'm out.